Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the second module of uh, OS uh, then the super important questions are given below this PDF can be found in the description box there is a link so you can download it and go through it and uh, before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this okay and if you have got any doubt ping me on Instagram so let's get started explain the multi uh, trading models with a diagram so before uh, that you need to know how many models are there okay there are three models many to many models so there are many user thread thread why is a model used a model is that which connects between the user and the inbuilt system user is the user thread inbuilt system is a kernel thread okay so many to many model will have three connections means many to many as the name suggests this is many to one and uh, one to uh, one okay so these are the three types of models if you go to the theory part or watch my video of the theory regarding the module 2 of os you can get to know um, key points okay next one is the sjf fcfs rr srtf algorithms uh, uh, the question will be given like they'll be giving you a chart inside that there'll be process and the allocation time and the uh, many things are there okay so if you watch the uh, video of the theory there have there have explained each of these which formula to apply and how to solve them very important it's repeated in all almost all the papers then we have uh, the next one is uh, reader writer problem dining philosopher a solution peter a solution for critical problem these two you these three you should never miss at any cost these for these three there are different solutions which i have discussed in the video you can go through it okay what are semaphores explain how mutual exclusion is implemented uh, using semaphore what is a semaphore basically it's a, a binary lock binary lock means if there is a process p and uh, there is a process p2 okay let it be p1 p2 this is the resource if process p1 is using the resource p2 should not be allowed to access this one this can be implemented using uh, semaphores it will have a lock which can be either 0 or 1 it's just a data structure will have the uh, value inside of it which is either 0 or 1 okay so that will help me uh, help uh, implementing the semaphore binary lock and it will um, help us avoid the deadlock as well. So that's all for this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.